Are you ready to embark on a remarkable journey of faith and discovery? Join us as we unravel the captivating story of Dawood Reed, a man who broke free from the chains that held him back and found true liberation on the path of Allah Almighty. Dawood, formerly known as David, grew up in a Catholic environment and received his education within the Catholic Church. However, as he reached the age of 20, he began to feel disconnected from the teachings of the Church, particularly the concept of the Trinity. The idea of God being three separate entities confused him, and he found it difficult to determine whom to direct his prayers towards. Talking about how he reverted to Islam at the age of 60, Dawood told us that he got married and became a father to two lovely children. Like any loving parent, he cherished his children dearly. Unfortunately, tragedy struck when his son passed away at the tender age of seven due to cancer. This devastating loss caused Dawood to harbor deep resentment towards God. I then got married and uh, had two children. Um, uh, my oldest girl now is turning 40 this year, I think. And um, the, uh, uh, my young um, second son died of cancer at the age of seven, uh, which was a very sad time in my life. And it was also the time that I turned totally against God. I hated God. He despised what he believed was an unfair destiny imposed upon his family. In his anger and defiance, he even got a pentagram tattoo on his left hand as a symbol of his rebellion against God's existence. During his devastating journey, Dawood worked at Parliament House, where he found refuge in alcohol, leading to a problematic drinking habit. His marriage also crumbled during this time. In an attempt to cope, he turned to marijuana, believing it brought him a sense of spirituality. It was during this phase that he met his current wife and they built a life together, raising two more children. Life continued to test Dawood's strength as he faced one challenge after another. His beloved wife fell critically ill and required a lung transplant. Realizing the fragility of life, Dawood surrendered himself to a higher power and began to seek solace in prayer. He earnestly called out to God, willing to accept his will, whether it meant losing his wife or witnessing her recovery. And I can remember standing in the kitchen alone and very sincerely, sincerely calling out to God. And I remember that my mindset was, if it's your will, God, save my wife. And if it's not, I'm going to accept it. I'm just going to accept it. Miraculously, Dawood's wife emerged from the intensive care unit defying the odds. The couple received news that a pair of lungs had become available for transplant at St. Vincent's Hospital in Sydney. This incident shook Dawood's beliefs to their core, leading him to question the effectiveness of his prayer. It was a turning point in his life as he decided to embark on a search for spiritual guidance. After unsuccessful attempts to find solace in a church and synagogue, Dawood stumbled upon a mosque. To his surprise, he was warmly welcomed and engaged in a conversation that changed his life forever. And I went up into the mosque and the first thing that happened was a man approached me and started talking to me and welcomed me. And that was life-changing, absolutely life-changing. Eager to learn more about Islam, Dawood sought guidance from a kind Muslim named Nidal who offered to lead him through a course called Understanding Islam. Over time, he experienced a profound epiphany, realizing that Islam resonated with his heart and soul. Embracing Islam became a turning point in his life, providing him with a renewed sense of purpose, a way to connect with Allah Almighty and the path of gratitude for the blessings he had received. As he delved deeper, into his newfound faith, his doubts regarding the Trinity slowly faded away. The unity and simplicity 
of Islam resonated with him, and he no longer felt divided in his worship. Moreover, the concept of monotheism resonated deeply within him, revealing the truth of the oneness of God. He realized there were no intermediaries between humans and their creator, like no saints or figures to pray through. Even Jesus in the garden had prayed to God, not to himself. The understanding of this fundamental truth felt like a revelation, and Dawood knew he had found his spiritual home. Finally, confident in his beliefs, Dawood decided to publicly declare his commitment to Islam. He recited the Shahada, the Declaration of Faith, which signified his acceptance of Islam as his chosen path. From that moment onward, Dawood embarked on a new chapter of his life, guided by the principles of Islam. According to Dawood, he decided to revert to Islam because it provided him with a sense of direction and discipline. As we all know that in our modern society, discipline seems to be waning, and many individuals perceive it as gradually falling apart. However, through embracing Islam, Dawood was able to renew his hopes for leading an orderly life, guided by a set of principles that not only ensure personal discipline, but also promote a well-ordered society. MashaAllah. Welcome to the beautiful path of Islam, dear brother Dawood. As Muslims, it is indeed a responsibility upon us to strive a positive influence to those around us, to create a favorable impression of our faith and potentially inspire others to embrace Islam. Imagine a beautiful garden filled with a variety of flowers, each one unique in its beauty and fragrance. Similarly, as Muslims, we are like the flowers in this vast garden of humanity, radiating the light of Islam through our words, actions, and character. When we enter this garden of life, we naturally encounter people from diverse backgrounds, beliefs, and experiences. By being the best version of ourselves and embodying the principles of Islam, we have the opportunity to captivate the hearts and minds of those around us. This doesn't mean we have to perform extraordinary feats or be showy, but rather, it involves embracing the teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and trying to manifest them in our daily lives. Thus, by displaying exemplary manners, kindness, honesty, and compassion, we can leave an indelible impression on others regarding of their faith or beliefs. Through our sincere and genuine interactions, we can build bridges of understanding and foster a sense of unity and respect amongst our fellow human beings so that they can follow the beautiful path of Islam.